Lots of people get lost in Saltburn. I don't think I'll ever go home again. Saltburn is a psychological thriller getting a lot of buzz these days after people accidentally watched it with their families over the holidays. They found out the hard way that it's not really a movie that you want to watch with your parents around. Let that be your warning if you haven't already seen all those awkward Saltburn memes. Written and directed by Emerald Fennell, it stars Barry Keown as Oliver, who's a shy, awkward student on scholarship at Oxford who's struggling to make friends and fit in. He becomes enthralled in a popular student named Felix, played by Jacob Elordi, who is sympathetic to Oliver's stories of his difficult childhood and family life at home. After the death of Oliver's father, Felix feels sorry for him and invites him out to stay the summer at his parents' lavish mansion estate called Saltburn, where he quickly realizes just how wealthy the family is. There's a lot of things that happen while at Saltburn that I don't want to spoil, but I will say that lust, obsession, envy, lies, and manipulation take over in ways that borders pathological fixation. Now, if this storyline is starting to sound familiar to you, it's because it's essentially a newer version of the Academy Award-winning 1999 movie The Talented Mr. Ripley, starring Matt Damon, Jude Law, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Philip Seymour Hoffman. Rest in peace. The similarities are just too numerous to call this anything essentially but the exact same premise. They each have two young men who become friends, where one is super wealthy and the other one comes from nothing. In both films, there is this underlying sexual attraction, and you're unsure if it goes both ways between the two. There's lies, manipulation, lust, and envy. Both films have some great acting and memorable scenes, but Saltburn takes the cake for sure when it comes to shock value. But the storyline of Mr. Ripley is just a lot better. If you like the talented Miss Ripley, I'd say you're probably going to enjoy Saltburn. But let's say you haven't seen either of these movies and you're at a blockbuster video in 2005 trying to decide between the two movies and you only have enough money for one of them, I'd go with Talented Miss Ripley for sure. But if you got that Felix Mansion money and you can afford both movies and a large bag of Sour Patch Kids, then I'd most certainly do a double feature night because both are worth watching.